The topic today is sequences and series and the question is about arithmetic progression. The question reads the nth term of a sequence is given by 2n plus 3 but a write the first four items of the sequence b find the sum of the first 50 terms of the sequence c show that the sum of the first n terms of the sequence is given by n squared plus 4n hence or otherwise find the first largest integral value of n such that the summation of n terms is less than 725 so for part a we are to write the first four items of the sequence that is the first four terms whatever we are given is the nth term so nth term generally is given by 2n plus 3 for this particular question we are going to determine the first four terms remember n represents terms for example the first term second term third term and so on so if you want to get the first term then we let n to be 1 so that substituting 1 for n we will have 2 into 1 plus 3 that is for the first term so that we have 2 plus 3 that is 5 next we also look for the second term so for this case n is 2 so we substitute so we have 2 into 2 plus 3 and that is 7 remember we are in the second term we want to get the third and the fourth so the third term in this case n is 3 so we have 2 into 3 plus 3 and that is 9 finally the fourth term we have 2 into n and n is 4 plus 3 and that finally gives us 11 so the first four terms are the first one we have 5 followed by 7 followed by 9 and finally 11 so for part b find the sum of the first 50 terms of the sequence so from this we have a pattern formed and from this pattern this is a sequence and we want to tell whether it's an arithmetic sequence or it's a geometric sequence so arithmetic sequences are usually characteristic of the common difference and geometric sequences are characteristic of the common ratio so for this case we realize that there's a common difference 7 minus 5 that is 2 9 minus 7 2 11 minus 9 still 2 so there's a common difference of 2 so this makes it an arithmetic sequence so what you're going to have the sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic sequence is usually given by n over 2 into twice a plus into brackets n minus 1 d where d represents the common difference a represents the first term and n represents the number of terms so for this particular case we are told to find the sum of the first 50 terms remember s n represents the sum of the first n terms so to get the sum of the first 50 terms in this case n is 50 we'll have n over 2 and that is 50 over 2 into 2 times a and a is the first term so the first term in the sequence here is 5 so we multiply by 5 plus into brackets n minus 1 and n 
is 50, so 50 minus 1, we have 49. And then we multiply by D, D is the common difference, so you find the difference between consecutive numbers. So we take the 1 to the right minus the 1 to the left. So if you consider 5 and 7, so it's 7 minus 5, or 9 minus 7, or 11 minus 9. So we get the common difference as 2. So working out this, we'll get that the sum of the first 50 terms is, so 50 divided by 2, that is 25, and in the bracket we have 2 by 5, that is 10, 10 plus 98, that is 108. Multiplying, we have 2,700. So that is the sum of the first 50 terms. Lastly, we are to show that the sum of the first n terms of the sequence is given by n squared plus 4n. So let's do that first. So we take the sum of the first n terms, which generally is given by n over 2 into twice a plus n minus 1 d. We know what a is, we know what d is, so we will substitute the value. So we have n over 2 into twice a, but a for this case is 5. So the first term is 5, so 2 times 5, that is 2 times 5, which is 10, plus into brackets we have n minus 1 and then d is the common difference we had found it 7 minus 5 that is 2 and then working out this opening the brackets we will have 5n plus n squared minus n and this should be 5n minus n, collecting the like terms, 4n plus n squared, which is what we are required to get, n squared plus 4n. So if we rearrange it, it's just the same. So we have n squared plus 4n. And then you're told, hence or otherwise, find the first largest integral value of n such that the sum of the first n terms is less than 725. So here, so therefore, n from this cause, the all of this is summation of the first n terms. So we're going to have n squared plus 4n less than 725. So I'm using this inequality here. So summation of the first n terms is this one, the left hand side, and on the right hand side I have 725. So this should give us n squared plus 4n minus 725 less than 0. So applying the quadratic formula we will have n is less than negative 4 plus or minus the square root of b squared that is 4 squared so that is 16 minus 4 times coefficient of n squared is 1 times c which is negative 725 that should give us positive 2900 and then we'll divide by twice a, that is 2 times the coefficient of n squared, and that is 2. So this implies that n is less than, so here we have negative 4 plus or minus. So right here we will have the square root of 2916, and that is 54. And then we divide by 2. So 
we will have two values of n here so n is less than so negative 4 minus 54 that is negative 58 divided by 2 we have negative 29 or we may also have n is less than negative 4 plus 54 that is positive 50 divided by 2 that is 25 and remember n should represent the number of items so in no case can we have n being a negative so that means we are going to ignore this value and then go by this so remember the question requires us to get the first largest integral value of n such that the sum of the n terms is less than 725 so all the values less than 25 will satisfy this condition here but you want the largest one that beyond which this condition fails to be satisfied of course we cannot have 25 but we need to go a little lower than 25 and that is 24 remember we are required to get the integral values so an integral value below 25 is 24 so that simply implies that n is 24 items so that is it for this question thank you for watching see you in the next video